What do you do if you run out of ideas for your email campaign? Today I'll show you ideas that you can start implementing right away. Rod here. Welcome to Burn to Learn. So the six main points we'll go over are 1. Adding catchy subject lines. 2. Befriend your audience. 3. Implement video content and GIFs. 4. Set a schedule to send emails. 5. Highlight your social proof. And 6. Keep an up-to-date list. First, adding catchy subject lines. Catchy subject lines speak to readers directly and promises them something that stands out from other emails in their inbox. Odds are, they'll decide whether or not to open your email depending on how appealing your subject lines are. So don't neglect them. Write out several options and test them out in whatever email platform you're using for your marketing campaign. In this example, I tried three different subject lines, and we'll see what happens in my customers' replies. Second, befriend your audience. We recommend you get personal with your audience. You'll be surprised by the positive feedback. Put yourself in your client's shoes. Wouldn't it be nice to have a friendly conversation with the business owner himself? That's exactly what your audience feels like when you take the time to address them personally. Building a strong relationship with your audience will lay the foundation for a healthy business that people will proudly identify with. Third, add video content and GIFs. Integrating video will help your emails perform better and keep the viewer's attention. It makes your emails more dynamic and goes hand in hand with the last point. Whereas long emails can discourage your recipients from reading it, a video conveys the same message in a professional way that will make your email stand out. Another thing that stands out are gifts. At first, it might sound like a joke, but trust me, there are plenty of ways to use them, and people will appreciate your creativity. If you'd like to know how to make and add videos and GIFs in your emails, just let us know in the comment section below. Fourth, set a schedule to send emails. Balance here is important. You don't want to send only once and forget about your campaign, nor do you want to overwhelm your audience with an annoying amount of emails. Engage with them and they will engage with you. But do that in a setup sending schedule. As we discussed in our automated responses in MailChimp video, you can use automated scheduled emails to simplify the process. Fifth, highlight your social proof. In other words, try not to make your marketing all about what you think of your products or services. Word of mouth recommendations will happen organically and will grow faster if you find the way to involve yourself in the process, making it a part of marketing strategy. Simple moves like highlighting reviews from actual customers and adding testimonials to your email will help you build up your reputation. And last but not least, sixth, keep your contact list up to date. The two main things that influence the success rate of your campaigns are the quality of your content and your audience. The last five points address the quality of your content. But what happens when part of your audience is not responding? Well, then it's time to go through your contact list. Use the analytics tools that are provided by the platform you are using. Then determine which emails are worth keeping and which aren't. In the end, you'll find yourself with a more efficient campaign. But there's more. We'll discuss email analytics more in depth in our email analytics video. I hope once you put these tips into practice, you won't look back. We'll see you in the next video for more practical advice on how to make your email marketing campaign grow. This is Rod from Burn to Learn. Thanks for watching. Also, join the Inner Circle, our technical skills learning accelerator.